What's up guys, I'm Phoenix Master one and welcome back for some more Fire Emblem Heroes and today I'm going to be taking on Violet's Legend Hero Battle and this is going to be my free to play guide for Abyssal, Infernal and Lunatic difficulty without using any kind of skill inheritance on these free to play units. So all of these units are story mode units and Ninian is from Hero's Path so it should be pretty easy. You don't really need any kind of sacred seal on them except for Air who needs to have to propose sacred seal so that you can deal with that sturdy impact Red Flyer and Double Dancer is really good with Air and Regan, especially because Regan's uh, Kanto is super useful as you'll see. So let us begin with Infernal. And honestly, I thought on this map, the Awakening theme would play. I mean, the Awakening track from Three Houses, essentially. Over here? So you want to have Regan over here and dance her up. Yeah. And you can just take care of this Axe Fighter with Sather Shell, just one shot him and then panic, which is really good because this is a Blade Tome Red Flyer. That's and you want to have air teleport with orders buff um, to bait out this red flyer. And sturdy impact is really annoying and that's why I've got quicker post. And air will be fast enough to break through the sturdy impact using her quicker post. And you just want to have Ninian beside your peony. So here we just take care of that red flyer. And now more reinforcements are going to be showing. This uh, sword armor uh, doesn't have near save like a Shiraz one and this vocabulary unit comes over here so we can just go ahead and take out this vocabulary unit and um, retreat with Regan and take out this Lance Cavalier with Ear and Peony Nance up Regan to have her in the safe position and again we can just bait out another mage with Ear and here we are going to be triggering the Iceberg to just one round KO so this map does give you some space to move in and work around, which is really good. So now you want to go ahead and take yeah. out this green thief. And just have your Regan retreat. And we can go ahead and take care of this Troubadour who does have slow. Thankfully there is no flash. Usually they just spam us with flash um, stuff units on these kinds of legendary and mythic battles. This sword, uh, infantry sword fighter definitely has to be watched out for because he does have odd tempest. And now we can just go ahead and take care of Violet. And that's gonna be it. And we can just retreat. Air can just take out this sword infantry unit. And Mystic Boost is gonna be helping just uh, face tank this green mana heat. Which should be nice. So Violet is just gone. And now we just take out Over this here? red mage. Of course. Kanto is yeah. no longer going to be working. Yes. Maybe this and there's no like aerobatic shenanigans or anything like that here. It's pretty straightforward, really. The glimmer of life. We take care of this blue flyer with that iceberg. I won't lose. And Sather Shell is still not going to finish off this lightning breath mana heat. We end our turn. This uh, Brave Sword armor does have Weary Fighter. Yes. Yeah, these fridges are always left for the last because they just trail behind. And this one even more so because he has got a rally skill, so he just rallies everyone. Over and here? yeah, Good now morning. we can finish him off with a Sather Shell and that is going to be the Infernal difficulty. Extremely, extremely easy to do and follow uh, with these free to play units. And you just need Cooker Post. So now let's move on to the Big Bad Abyssal. For the Abyssal difficulty, we of course need some oomph, so that's why we've got more Sacred Seals. You need to have Attack Speed Solo on your Regan, and that is definitely going to be helping a lot. Air just needs to have Cooker Post again to break through that Sturdy Impact Red Flyer, just like Infernal difficulty. Peony needs to have Attack Tactic Sacred Seal, and Ninian needs to have Speed Tactic. So, the same team as Infernal, but here we have to proceed differently because these units are obviously really inflated and bulky. So someone like Air is really not going to be getting kills here. But still we're going to be starting the same by taking out this Woe Gun. Yeah. Um, Axe and Fenge unit. He's never going to be able to trigger his wave skills Over unfortunately. Here. So Sather Shell is going to be helping. We do not one shot him. We take a bit of damage but that's fine. Yes. We can teleport with Air. And yes. Air unfortunately will not be able to kill this um, Red Flyer. And the Bow Cavalry unit is going to be moving behind uh, the Red Flyer, of course, because it's going to be targeting Air and Peony. So we can go ahead and take out this Red Flyer over here. And then just go like this and take out this 
vocabulary unit as well. Cannot let him attack anyone with that Brave Bow. And now we have two dancers. We have got two units who can be danced, so we're gonna be doing that. We're gonna be attacking this Lance Cavalry unit with Regan. And Air can just finish off. So Regan is quite low, but it's kind of needed to alleviate the pressure essentially. And now because of the attack tactic, speed tactic and everything else because of the support, Air can just take out this blue mage, so that is really good. And then we can just dance up here. And we can move Regan over here, and because we do have Kanto, we can just hit and retreat like this. And then attack this Troubadour. So unfortunately this Troubadour doesn't go down, but it's still nice to put her at low HP. And this uh, <laughs> Sword Fighter is going to be breaking that obstacle. So that's the thing with the AI on this map. They are going to be focusing on trying to break those obstacles at times. So now we've got this Mana Keat again. Can not really take them on, but we can definitely have Violet yes. get taken out. Divine Pulse is yeah. not going to save him from the Sather Shell Wrath. And that is going to be it. So poor Violet didn't even uh, get to move to the halfway of the map. And we can just have our Regan over here. And yes. we can have Air retreat yeah. and simply have Regan in the range over of this here. Mana Keat. Because it's not the player phase, Regan is not going to be able to kill the Mana Keat. And we still just stall it, essentially. As the Sword Fighter is going to be staying behind the Mana Keat. And now we just gotta, um, you know, retreat with Regan. And take care of this yeah. Red Mage. Dance Regan and have Ear retreat as well. Unfortunately, uh, Ninian is going to get attacked, but because this uh, blue flyer has got Water Sweep, Ninian is not going to get doubled, so that is really great. And now we can safely take out that green mana kit. And then take care of this Sword Fighter as well. Unfortunately, there's going to be like a restore loop here where, yeah, she just restores and then she's going to get rallied. But we can pretty much just retreat Maybe this like this yes. Yes. and have the Troubadour come to us. So we're not going to be wasting Sather Shell, of course. That is very precious. Um, instead, we're just going to be doing that. And we can do some damage to this yes. fridge. All of these fridges at 99 HP every single time. Yeah, and now Sather Shell is going to finish off this fridge, and that's going to be your Abyssal difficulty. Really easily done uh, with these free-to-play units. You don't really need any kind of skill inheritance. And again, if you have any kind of trouble, let me know in the comments. I'll try my best to help, and other people will as well. And now let's move on to the Lunatic difficulty. For Lunatic, we're going to be using the same team again, but you don't really need any kind of skill inheritance or any kind of secret seal here. All of these are completely vanilla units. So let us begin with Lunatic. And on Lunatic, um, we have just one less enemy. We don't have that blue mage. So we can start the same again. Take care of this axe fighter. Have air teleport. And but there's no sturdy impact actually on Lunatic. So she doesn't really need quicker pose to take care of this guy. So that is quite great. And we simply use our iceberg to take out this bow cavalry unit. Which is really nice. And then we take out this Lance Cavalier. Yeah, of course. This Thief is going to get taken out really fast. But we don't have too many options to retreat. Because Violet is going to be quite threatening. Um, but what we can do is pretty much uh, just Over go here. ahead and yeah. take out Violet. Yeah. Really fast. So he doesn't get to do anything here. Which is really unfortunate for him. So we are on, So we are just on full offensive. Um... A lunatic, really. So now we can go ahead and take care of this sword fighter. Again, create that body block. And that's it for these two mages. So this mannequin still does quite a bit, honestly. But we can take her out with that. And we can just dance up here like this. Won't 
And now we just have the fridge. So time to weaken up the fridge a bit. So that was a pretty straightforward guide. If you have any kind of friends who are trying to beat this map and they need help, then make sure to share this video with them. And I want to thank all of my YouTube members for the constant support. If you enjoyed, then please be sure to leave a like and a comment. Helps me tremendously and be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell because YouTube sub boxes are about as functional as that axe infantry unit at the start who gets to do nothing. So that's it. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.